हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑक्सरी लेंस ऑक्सरी लेंस आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स वन इज स्टोरेज लेन अनदर इज राइट टर्निंग लेन एंड थर्ड इज एक्सलेशन और डेसिलेशन लेंस एंड दीज आर प्रोवाइडेड एट इंटरसेक्शंस मे बी सिंगल कंट्रोल इंटरसेक्शंस और अनकंट्रोल इंटरसेक्शंस दी आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट on freeways when an exit is provided from a national highway to a minor street or when a vehicle enters from a minor road to a major road then it requires certain distance to increase or reduce the speed to meet the speed of the destination these lanes also enhance the safety at intersections and highways storage lanes or right turning lanes are generally more important in urban areas where volume of right turning traffic is quite significant and if you do not separate the uh, through traffic from right turning traffic or if you do not separate right turning vehicle from through traffic then the capacity of the entire approach or the intersection may be affected storage lane should be sufficient to accommodate at least 1.5 times the average number of vehicles that would store in turning lane at peak hour 1.5 times is the factor of safety but this storage lane should not be blocked by the through traffic for example if this is the intersection and you have a right turning lane here this right turning lane is provided here this is the stop line and that is the length of the right turning lane l this is a taper length now you should also see how the queue is formed in the adjacent lane the queue in the adjacent lane should not extend beyond the right turning lane otherwise this will be blocked let me explain this with example with one example let us consider a signalized intersection where cycle length is 100 second and there is a through traffic of 500 vehicles per hour containing let us say 15% buses or heavy vehicle right turning traffic is 150 vehicles per hour 10% heavy vehicles 10% heavy vehicle what should be the length of storage lane so let us calculate how many vehicles are arriving in one cycle how many right turning vehicles are arriving in one cycle so right turning vehicles will be 150 divided by 3600 into 100 second this is 4.2 or you can say four vehicles you can also say five vehicles you can also take five vehicles so if it is five vehicles and there are 10% heavy vehicles so in these there will be either one heavy vehicle plus four car or zero heavy vehicle plus five cars so let us take this case and if you assume that the length of the car is 6 meter and length of the heavy vehicle is 11 meter then this length will be 11 meter plus 4 into 6 that is 35 meter 35 meter into 1.5 52.5 meter let us say 55 meter that should be the length of storage lane now let us see how many vehicles are arriving for through movement at the rate of 500 vehicles per hour so 500 vehicles per hour divided by 3600 into 100 cycle length and that is 13.88 let us say 14 vehicles and if there are 15% bus 15% buses so it can contain let us say two buses and 12 cars 
12 buses means 22 meter plus 12 cars means 72 so that is 84 meter sorry 94 meter now this is what is to be understood here if you are providing 42 meter length here then this will be blocked by these 94 meter now these five vehicles these five vehicles are arriving 100 second but in the through lane these five vehicles can arrive in 35 minutes 35 seconds or 36 seconds you can calculate that so after 40 second there will be a vehicle here going through and by the time this storage lane is not completely booked and therefore if the next vehicle is to take right turn it will not be able to move to this right turning lane and that is what is suggested that this length of storage so storage lane should not be less than this value so provide let us say 95 meter as the length of storage lane this storage lane is provided for left turning vehicles and here on this side you have the median and through median you provide this right turning lane this is the median you can provide here the right turning lane now this is the tapered length and this is the storage lane so this is normally 35 to 40 meter 45 meter and this is what you calculated 95 meter that is how you provide storage lane at signal control intersections in case of uncontrolled intersections the traffic on major road is generally controlled through a stop sign so we call that two way stop control intersections that is the two way stop control intersection where traffic on minor road is controlled by a stop sign here and here and in that case you provide a storage lane to accommodate two to three vehicles at a time and this length will be 90 meter to 200 meter depending upon the speed on the major highway 90 meter for 50 kilometer per hour speed and 200 meter for 120 kilometer per hour speed that is the suggested length of storage lane on two way stop control intersections or on other locations where not more than two vehicles are expected to arrive at a time second is speed change lane speed change lanes are provided to either accelerate the vehicle or to decelerate the vehicle when the vehicle exits the major major highway or interchange then it this lane is used to decelerate the vehicle to the minor street speed and similarly when a vehicle enters the freeway so if this is the freeway and the vehicle enters this freeway from the side street then in that case we provide a acceleration lane this is the acceleration lane so this is the taper length again and this taper length is used to move after achieving the speed of the expressway and this is the length of acceleration lane L. and this is the taper length taper length is used to move from this lane to this lane and this length will depend upon the movement or later movement of the vehicle and later movement of the vehicle is generally considered 1.5 meter per second to 1 meter per second so how much time it takes how much time it takes so let us say a vehicle is entering from this at 40 km per hour then speed on this space 80 km per hour so this length will be used to accelerate from 40 to 80 and at this speed it will move laterally to merge with the mainstream 
Similarly, if the vehicle is to exit a freeway, so here a vehicle is now exiting. So it will exit here, it will leave the main expressway. This length again tapered length is used to shift laterally and then this length is used to decelerate to the to the speed of the minor street or minor road. Again this taper length is 35 to 45 meter and this can be calculated. This can be calculated using this equation length of deceleration lane or acceleration lane will be v1 square minus v2 square upon 26 a. a is the rate of acceleration or deceleration v and v1 and v2 are the initial and the final speed in kilometer per hour. This may also be required at intersections. At intersections, the turning speed is important. How the curve is designed, that is important. So, a vehicle turning to the left will require certain distance to decelerate. That is the, again you provide a taper and then full width deceleration lane. So, let us say if this speed is 60 km per hour and the turning speed here is 40 km per hour, then you can calculate what is the length required here. Okay. So, the length of deceleration lane will be v1 square minus v2 square upon 26 a and this is 60 square minus 40 square upon 26 and let us say a is 1.25 so this is 62 meter this length will be 62 meter this speed will be mainly governed by the geometry of this turn here how much radius is provided radius of the curvature taper length here this taper length is i told you it it is used to shift laterally from the main lane to the deceleration lane and therefore this will be 0 0.278 into 60 into rate of lateral movement and if i take that lateral, lateral movement rate of lateral movement let us say 1.5 meter per second so how much time it requires to move laterally that is 3.5 meter if you take lane width 3.5 meter divide by 1.5 meter this will be around 2.3 second so multiply it by 2.3 second you get 38.3 second and that is what i told you that in majority of cases this length of taper is 35 to 45 meter so this is 38 meter IRC 92, which deals with the expressways in rubber area, it suggests that acceleration lane, IRC 92 says length of acceleration lane should be 180 meter to 250 meter. 180 meter is the minimum, minimum length of acceleration lane and 250 meter desirable length of the acceleration acceleration lane and for deceleration lane it says it should be 90 to 120 meter at intersections in rural area or in urban area as i told you this length will depend upon the exit speed if exit speed is low very low then it will be more it will requ you will require more length to decelerate irc sp41 gives a table to determine the length of minimum acceleration lane and this table is like this if you know the speed which is to be reached 
and you know the initial speed, then you can you can determine from this table what should be the minimum length of acceleration lane. So, for example, if the initial speed is 40 km per hour and the exit speed is 75 or merging speed is 75 km per hour of the highway, then you need 280 meter as the minimum length of acceleration lane. Where acceleration lane is on up gradient, upgrade, then the length which is given in the table that can be reduced by a factor 1 plus 0 0.08 g. g is the gradient. Similarly, deceleration lane, the purpose is different. The configuration is same. The purpose is to decelerate the vehicle when it leaves the highway. And this is again like this. So, that is your taper length and that is the complete width of the lane up to here before it enters. Now, this length. So, again if you take let us say a vehicle arriving from this direction on the highway is 70 km per hour and the exit speed here is 30 km per hour, then what should be the length of the deceleration lane? Now, deceleration lane will be again S V1 square minus V2 square upon 2, oh sorry, 26A. So, this is 70 square minus 30 square upon 26 into 1.25 and this is 120 meter, 123 meter or you can say 120 meter. Similar to acceleration lane, IRC SP41 provides a table for length of deceleration lane also and this table like reads like this. So, again if you take the same example which I have taken here, if the average running speed is 70 km per hour and the average running speed of the exit curve is 30 km per hour, you need a length of 120 meters, same which we calculated. So, either you can read these values from this table or you can calculate yourself using this equation. It further says that if the deceleration lanes are on up gradient, on up gradient, then we should reduce the length by a factor 1 minus 0 0.03 g. And if it is on down gradient, downgrade, then this length should be increased by a factor. 0.06 g plus 1. So, that is how we provide auxiliary lanes, speed change lanes on highways and intersections. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can write in the comment box.